assignment for today. So, first of all, let's have a look at how the Premier League table looks like after week one. So, in first place at the moment, we have Newcastle United, who um, won their first game 5-1, to one, and has a goal difference of 4, so has 3 against Man City. Okay, so the match this week is against Man City. That's, that's going to be good. In second place we have Brighton and Hove Albion who also won the match. The Brighton and Hove Albion who also won the match. Um, four to one. So they have a positive goal difference of three and have three points. And they have Wolves in the next Manchester City, who also has a positive goal difference of three on Monday match. Obviously, we know they fire base in Newcastle United. We have Arsenal in fourth, then. Arsenal in fourth, who beat Wolves. Do I know who, um, who did Arsenal beat? I can't, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't remember who they beat, but they have a Crystal Palace.
massive player for Man City, Kevin De Bruyne. Probably the best midfielder or attacking midfielder in the world, best playmaker. But before that, I missed Erling er 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 Haaland scored his first goal in the fourth minute of the game. Um, I've got Erling er Haaland in my uh, fancy team. season again as long as he stays fit he just scores goals he's big strong fast so i don't expect anything less than him being competing for um top goal scorer again and then so yeah so he scored in the fourth minute in the fourth minute and then that substitute
released this week in my prediction of um, who's going to win the league, who's going to go top four for Champions League, and who's going to get relegated. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm going to let you in on a secret. One of the teams that I think is going to go down played in this match, and it is in Brighton. Brighton won their first game. session with nearly 60 percent possession although evident did have more shots and more shots on target with 19 and 9 respectively so Bert Leno having a uh, Malin match there looks like um, looks like that's warranted looks like that war that, that is warranted to have nine shots on target and have one of them saved start the season again from Everton. Traditionally, Everton would be beating teams like Fulham. So yeah, the last few seasons for Everton has been really, really poor. The next game then. So these are all on uh, Saturday. And this is Sheffield United and Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace got awarded a victory. And that was from So yeah, a 
assist. However, before half time and 37 minutes, Axel de Sassi scored um, a punt for Chelsea. Um, it was half time 1 1, and I'm so full time 1 1. There's no goals in the second half. Salah did score and it was ruled offside and Ben Chilwell also scored and it was ruled offside so there were two other goals um, scored in the game it's just that both 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 was ruled offside Sheffield United. On Saturday, we have Fulham who 
Yeah. Uh-huh.